Hi guys, welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I'm Shelly. I'm Scott. And we're in the kitchen. Wait, no we're not. We're not in the kitchen, but we are getting ready to do some cooking. We uh, grabbed one of these packs out of the bucket that we did the, from the video the other day. This is the one that was all sealed up in the plastic that we were unsure of. Um, but it still feels pretty good. So this is the chicken a la king with noodles. Look at that. This is a three servings package. Um, and so it looks delicious. Looks delicious. Eight dollars and fifty cents back in 2013. Um, they seem so, to have about doubled in price. Yeah, they've doubled in price. If you can find them, there's a lot of the stuff on back order. It does say out of stock in a lot of the of the things that we look at online. You can get it. You may not. You, you may have to wait, and you may not be able to get the exact meals you want, but it will feed you. It's good emergency food to keep in your truck or to keep in, well, these days, just to keep. Yeah, just to keep in anything. So we only, we have a few things here. There's not a lot of ingredients because basically it's just this and water. Um, but we're going to cook outside on the tailgate of the truck. The way with, you would if you got stuck somewhere and you needed to eat. Right. That's the plan. With my little Brunton uh, stove, cook stove. Yes, there is a cook stove in there. That oh, runs, on. runs on butane propane mix. This is a Coleman, but they do make do there are different um companies that make them. This is the what this is the um Brunton. Brunton. MSR same, is another good same thing. Mountain Safety Research is another good company. So but we're gonna be using the Coleman because it's already been used. So instead of breaking the seal on this on this one here, it's got a little seal on top. And I got my little, my extravagant cookware here. So that's good. Got my silverware. Anything I may need. And multi-tool. Multi we have that so we can take the pot off the, the heater. But we're going to get started. What did I forget? Nothing. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So we took it out of the package, this little guy, it's all folded up nice and neat. Can you see that okay? Mm -hmm. Got the audience out here today. All right, and then you just screw it on to your, your mix, your fuel mix. That's where your pot's going to sit, like so. So we're going to get it started. It's going. Oh, let's see, we need the water. It takes two cups of water for this. So he has his Nalgene. I can't find mine. He's got the tape on here for the 16, uh, 16 ounces. The tape's actually on there because I wanted to be able to have some duct tape with me in my bug out bag. And instead of carrying a whole roll, I decided it'd be a good idea to wrap it around my Nalgene in the right spot. That way, most of these take 16 ounces or less of water. I like Nalgene bottles. They work really well. Um, you can uh, you can cook with them if you have to. Um, they're also our water filters screw right onto the top of an Nalgene, so you can pump water right out of the brook right into the Nalgene. That mouth size for the thread is standard for a lot of companies. That's why I like them. But, it's got those measurements up to 32 ounces on here. It won't be long, you know. You can actually turn it up a little bit more. That's now. There's a 
little breezy here today. Hopefully it's not interfering with anything. Sounds like a little jet engine running. It does. So we're going to let the water heat up on this and then we'll be right back and uh, put it into the food. See what it looks like. Okay, so it's boiling already and that only took maybe, I don't know, a minute. <laughs> it wasn't very long at all. But they make yeah, them that are called she's, jet boils. She's but, boiling uh, really good. See that? Not so you long. can turn that off. The jet boils are even faster because they're, uh, they've are they got like a little heat exchanger in there and an actual holder for the stove is the pot. So those are actually nice too. But anyway, Don't, I digress. Oh, the turkeys and chickens are pecking at the stand. So sorry if the tripod, sorry if... Uh, We've got a turkey attack going Stop, on. turkey. Go. Get out of here, Brenda. Go play. All right, so... I don't think it's got a cut in it. Anyway... So, yep. this is open package and tear at the notch. See, there's a little notch right there on either side. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna open it up and look inside. Doesn't really smell like anything. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I think it's better. It looks like it looks kind of like breadcrumbs with veggies in there. This is the um, desiccant. The desiccant oxygen absorber. So, and then it says, carefully add two cups of boiling water. It just so happens we have some boiling water here. Right. Is that, will that lock? It doesn't lock. Oh, it's expanding. All right, the water's in there. Are you supposed to stir it? So now it says stir thoroughly. So got the handy dandy spoon. You want to get a picture of that, my cameraman? Stirring that up. Oh, it smells good. It actually smells good. Okay. I think that's thoroughly. All right, that's thoroughly enough. Yeah. Now we're supposed to seal it up. Sealed up. And let stand for eight to nine minutes. Stir it and then serve. So we're going to wait eight to nine minutes. We're not going to let you uh, sit here and wait for that. So we'll, we'll bring you back when it's ready. Okay, so it's been nine minutes. So now we're going to take a look at our little package here and see it's definitely swelled up and it's warm to the touch. Oh yeah. Look at all that goodness in there. Yummy, yummy. Let's just stir it up a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is pour it right in this in this little guy here. Maybe that'll give it a chance to cool down too. It's pretty warm. It's a lot more food than you think came out that of that bag. Those are my napkins. Hopefully we don't get messy. That's pretty good, pretty good plate of food there. Now if you were stuck somewhere beside the road or snowed in or someplace yeah. where you couldn't get home, Mm. Can't order takeout, whatever. That's pretty good food, you know. Right. Smells good. Smell a vision. No, you can't smell it. I'm going in. Go for it. <laughs> mm. To me, it always tasted just like canned food. I, I never really saw wow, much. Wow, that's really, really good. Isn't that tasty? It's very salty, which usually these are because they're freeze dried. Um, what did I say? We looked it up and now I can't remember. E 750 milligrams. <laughs> <laughs> My dog's putting on a performance over there. 
750 milligrams of sodium. That's a lot. Mm. That's really good, though. That's really good for a little freeze-dried meal. That's been... I don't even know if I told you guys. This is best used by March 2019. So that's what they suggest you use it by. And here it is, 2020. So... But I would say Chicken Alla King is uh, pretty good, even though it's expired. <laughs> Allegedly. That stuff actually is pretty, they're pretty conservative about how long this stuff lasts. Um, right. the, anything oh, that has meat in it, it, according to them, has a little shorter shelf life, and it's also a lot more expensive. Noodles and sauce last 10 or 20 years, I think. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. I said, there's your lunch. My, <laughs> okay. That's it. I'm sure that'll do it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> All right, I'm going to put my little, since that's done, let's put our cover on it. Keep it warmish. I'm going to take this apart and put it back. It's nice and cooled off now, so you guys can see how that happens. Took Gotta love those little stoves. <clears throat> I mean, you could literally open up a can and set the can right on top of Yep. That stove and warm, you know, like spaghetti and meatballs or, you know, ravioli or anything up. You know, it's another reason those can those stoves are just too handy to have, not to, to have them. So it just closes up just like, just like that. And then you just put it right in the little pocket. Like that. That particular one is a Brunton and... Uh, MSR actually makes some of the same things. MSR makes Present. one called a, uh, is it a pocket rocket, I think, that's even yeah. smaller than that. There's the little fuel canister. This is the one we used today by Coleman, just because it was already used or open. Keeps but, you from building a fire. But that, and that lit, so that, this is a, uh, with an igniter, right? Isn't that yeah. what you call that? It's got a piezo igniter. There are some that you can get that will just light with a lighter or matches. The pocket um, rocket and the feather are lighter and smaller, but they don't have their own ignition. You have to light them with a match or a lighter or something, which is really no big deal, unless the wind's blowing, like it is today, which like that one has today. the advantage. <laughs> it is definitely blowing today. The leaves are coming off the trees. It's crazy. Well, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you're thinking about getting some mountain house food, I would definitely recommend the chicken a la king. What do you think? Would you recommend it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the chicken teriyaki is good. The beef stroganoff is good. I've had quite a few of them on fishing I've and never, hunting traps. I've never had them before. So um, it's pretty surprisingly good. I if you're going on a camping trip where you know. have to lug your own food in, you can't beat that stuff because it weighs nothing. And you get so much out of it, and it's full of calories. Yeah, it's made to keep you alive. Yeah, but uh, yeah. definitely, definitely worth. Um, well, I don't know if it's worth sixteen dollars, which is what it is today, if you can even get it. But it was definitely worth the eight fifty when we bought it. <laughs> but um, anyway, well, you could eat at Burger King for that. <laughs> you could. I'm just saying. Yeah, I know. If you think about, you know, if you were feeding two people. True. So, I mean, it's not like it's cheap. You wouldn't want to live on it. But. Right, right. But something to throw in your bag or in your vehicle in case you need it. It's in your pantry. Good idea. Yeah. So, anyway, anything else to add? I think I'm yeah, good. I think we're good. The sun has come out. The sun has definitely come out. And we still have whiskey? We still have um, a little bit. Uh, anyway, so thanks for stopping in and watching our, our silly cooking video today and uh we hope to see you again yeah we'll see you next time take care